for the wind. Um, it is time to put lower body movement into the last set of the opener, set 35. This is the swoosh where we hold for 48 counts and you're playing those incredible rhythms and we're gonna add lower body. Um, so this video is for review for those of you who are learning in class, but also for those of you who cannot be with us right now, please watch this video, please review it and get up to speed to when you are able to come back um, you can jump right in, okay? So I'm going to show you the big picture. First, what we'll be doing, um, and then we'll break it down. Please listen carefully to the directions on whether you use your right or left side, because depending on what side of the 50 you're on, you will, um, we're going to work in contrary motion towards one another. And so make sure you're thinking about what side am I of the field am I on in the swoosh, so that you, know to get get your directions okay so i'm going to show you the big picture i'm going to do this at about 90 percent so you can see it and hopefully i do it well enough that you can understand what's going on here we go <laughs> there at the end, our flamenco lunge, okay? And you will just put your horns down the same counts you always have, but maintain this stance until you leave to free run into your set in the valley. Sound good? So let's break this down. And um, if I flub up or make mistakes, I'll just tell you I've made a mistake and we'll just try it again because this is, I don't want to have to keep making this video, okay? So, um, the first thing we do when we Jaeger is we hold, we play the two whole notes, we hold, play for eight counts. Remember that our power V and our hips are square to the front, but we are at box angle. Okay, so this is why I'm turning my upper body a little bit. Um, this is important to remember. This orientation doesn't change really throughout all of this, no matter what we're doing with our lower body. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is called a twist box. And those of you who are enjoy um, the Joy Show, this may be familiar to you. Um, when we twist bop, it's a twist of our hips and then a bend of our knees together, okay? We don't plie, it's we bend our knees in a certain direction. So side one, you will twist your hip, your right hip forward a little bit towards the front sideline, at the same time bending your knees towards the 50 or in that general direction. Okay, you can't go straight towards the 50, but that direction. So, twist bop, twist bop. Side two, you'll turn your left hip forward towards the front sideline, and then bop, bend your knees towards the 50, um, towards the right. Does that make sense? And we do that on those two eighth notes. Da da, da da. Okay, one and two and three. One and two and three. So we're, we go out on the first eighth note, back in, but we make it smooth. And when we turn and twist and bop, it's one, it's one smooth motion. So look from the side. If I'm turning this direction, it's twist, bop, twist, bop. My upper body stays pretty still. My feet stay still, okay? But it's my hips that turn and my knees that bend. But my knees can't bend too much, right? Because I'm trying to stay in my power V. So let's do this to the music. Will you do it with me, the correct direction? Remember, I'm not being your mirror, so you need to think about what direction do I go. Um, but I'm doing it both directions, so you can figure that out. Okay, so at 90%, here we go. Side one first. direction you'll go I actually turned my right hip so if you're mirroring it's side two but don't pay attention to that just okay um because I'm not doing mirroring okay this would be what side two would look like it doesn't need to be a big movement but it needs to be defined here okay 
So we do the twist box twice. And then the next measure we hold, that's a half note, and then I count three is when we do our next move, which is we lift, here I am my power V, my leg closest to the 50, comes up horizontal to the ground, and I'm pointing my toe straight down to the ground, or as straight down to the ground as I can get it. Three, okay? Um, so side one, that will be your left, leg, it will come up and you'll point, it doesn't need to go high and you can't, you don't bend your other leg or slump, everything else stays here, you put your weight into your opposite leg and lift, so this posture is still good, but here's all your weight now side two you'll lift this leg towards the 50, with your toe putting, pointing down, and I just came out just brought my knee straight up from that power V here, okay that's on count three. So I would go like this, side one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twist box, twist box, dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that's count three, I didn't count it, okay? One and two and three and four. One, two, three, okay? I'll do it to music because that's easier because counting, you're not counting, you're really just playing at this point. So it's easier to do it to the music. So let's do side one first, adding, adding the leg lift, the knee lift, okay? I want you to imagine that maybe someone's put a string or a rope around your knee and it's your knee that generates this power, okay? It's not your hip because that's gonna make you use your body to do this. So imagine that someone has put a, put a rope around your knee and they're, over, they're up above you and they just pull that up. So power this knee up and point that toe, power in the toe, okay? So think about doing that, that it's your knee that has that rope around it that pulls it up, okay? All right, side one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twist box, twist box, one, two, three. Okay. Da, da. So on that first quarter note you play after that whole da, da, okay? Side two, here we go. It must be there on three, it must be there on that quarter note, okay? It must be there, so initiate um, the count before so that you're there with your toe pointing straight down. It takes a lot of power and core strength, fire the core. Okay, so that's how that looks first. Now we're not gonna hold that leg there because we're gonna go da da. So it's really for three, four, we're there three, we hold it for four, but we initiate on four to come down. Now we're gonna go at a 45 degree angle back behind us opposite, okay? So if I'm here, I just bring my leg straight back at a 45 back behind me hitting with my toe like a tendu, and then my, um, the ball of my foot is supporting me, but my weight is not back there behind me, it's still here, okay? Most of my weight is still here because I've gotta pull myself back in in a moment. So we lift and straighten our leg with, don't, let, don't put your foot down, okay? Just the ball of your foot to give you some stability and support my leg is fairly straight back behind me, okay? This is a flamenco um, pose right here where they do a lot of this, so this is why we want to put this in. So I'm still in my power V here, okay? If I'm on side one, I'm still lifting here, pushing back, but my power V remains the same on my other leg, and here's where my weight is. Now don't reach too back, too far back, I almost did that. Lift and just straight back. But there is some separation. We don't want you like this. We don't want you clear back like this because then you can't lift up. So it's really a matter of lifting your leg and then just reaching back with the length of your leg and hitting there in the ball of your foot. Got it? So we hit with the ball of our foot on count one of the next measure. That's your first accented quarter note when we go da, 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 okay? Da, 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 right? Da, 
dun, dun, dun. So that, how, that is how that fits. Three, four, one. Okay? Three, four, one. So let's put that to the music. Remember, keep your weight here in the forward part, not back here on the ball of your foot. It just provides stability, and a little bit of weight is on that, but not much. Notice that this front leg is bent a little bit. I can't, I don't want bent. I want bend up here. It's almost like a backward lunge, right? This is straight, this is forward with a little bit of bend. Okay, let's do it to the music. I will do side one first. So this is your leg that's nearest to the 50 that's going to do all of this move, okay? Here we go. Oh boy, I went to the wrong step. Side two, here we go. All right, so that's what that looks like. We do those accented um, notes. That was the quarter note, then we do some accented notes. Um, and we will hold that pose into the end of the next measure on counts three and four again. We will go three, four, one. So um, let me sing it for you, okay? Um, so we, we twist bop, twist bop, twist bop. Three, four, one, done, done, done. Three, four, one, okay? So that's the last two quarter notes before we go on to the whole note holds. Okay, we have two whole notes after that that we hold, that we do. So let's look, let me just do it, let's do it to the music and then you can understand how that works, okay? Side one. Sing it with me. Side two, um, and we might as well just talk about this. When you lift, you come back up to where you were before. Again, here with parallel to the floor, pointed foot, but then you're going to go down into an open position. Make sure that you fit with your toe in the tendu, and then you come down to open position with your heels just, just a tad wider than your hips. Okay? So side one. You would twist bop. You're going to lift your left leg up. You're going to get down on count one. You'll do all of the accented notes on three, four, three, four, one. That's the first count of the whole note. Okay? Side two. Um, twist bop, twist bop. There's three, four, one, two, down, down, three, four, one. Okay? Same thing, you're just coming back up to where you were before and then coming down into open position. Okay? So let's, side one, let's do it all to music. Steps correct. Side two. Two spot, two spot. Three, four, one. Three, four, one. Okay. So it's kind of easy to remember in that we're always doing on three, four. Right? Here, there's three, four, one. Do the box. Three, four, one. Okay, now, so we're going to hold in that open position for those four counts for that whole note, and then we have a second four count, um, that second whole note, we are going to 
do a lean and a bend of the knees. So in this, all you do is keep your upper body strong and together, and you bend your knees, and it's kind of a lean back to give us more lift to our horns just with our body movement. Okay? We're not gonna slump back, we're not gonna lean forward, we're not gonna bend our hips. This is really a bend of the knees, and our upper body stays toaster-like, right? But our knees take us forward, okay? So we're going to do that on count one of the second whole note. Da! Okay? <clears throat> Bring love my voice right now. Okay, so let's think through this with side one. You'll twist ba, twist ba, three, four, one. Do the bops. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Bend, two, three, four. Okay? Side two, twist bop, twist bop, three, four, one, do all the bops, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you hit it on one, you've got to initiate on the end, so you're there. Okay, let's do it to music. Side one. <laughs> Actually, it's one complete move, okay? So we're going to hold for those four in our lean back, and then we have eight count drum break, all right? So this is the tricky part, because you're, need, you're going to need to release on one, but we're going to start a move on one, but you're, everything is you're going to keep your horn oriented to your embouchure. We're not going to remove our horn or, or put it down. We're just going to do this rotation. We're going to do a, a turn, um, in plank position. So, side one, you've done everything, you've initiated everything with your left leg. This next move you will now initiate with your right, okay? So side one, you're gonna hold, and then on count one of the eight count drum break, you are going to do this turn. You're going to, with your right foot, go one, three, five, seven. So think about that again. Here you are. You'll lift up your right leg. It's a one. Here's the turn. One, three, five, big lunge. Oriented back to box angle. Okay? Side two, you've initiated everything with your right. Now you're going to initiate with your left. You're in this hold. You'll go one, three, five, seven. You see that? And um, we don't want you to lunge forward. I actually did that a little bit incorrect. You want your lunge to be straight across still and then just a bo box angle. Okay? So side one, let's look at you again. You're in open position. You've done the lean back. Okay? You've been going with this le left leg, but now it's right. One, three, five, seven. Get with your toe with every step not with your heel. Side two, we start with this leg, now we're gonna start with the left. One, three, five, seven. Okay? So, and the horn stays oriented to the mouth. Da, da, three, five, seven. Then you can take your breath and you're gonna play da, 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 in this very strong lunge. Remember a lunge, we only bend our one leg, the other one is straight. And a big lunge like this is another standard flamenco pose. And that's why we're doing it, okay? So let's add that to the music. And you have to promise me that you won't release early to do this so that we can continue to do this, this turn, okay? 
We must not release Ernie in the music because the music is most important. Okay, let's do side one first and I'll try not to get confused. <laughs> And then this video is long enough, you'll just have to redo it and practice it on your own, okay? Um, okay, 100% for side one, maybe. So there you go. That's the choreography that you need to learn and that we're hoping to incorporate into our show now. Um, if you have any questions, please contact me. Work hard to be up to speed and so that you have the counts down. If you have any questions about technique, let me know. Um, I'm a little worried I may have cut off my head this whole time because I can't really see the top of my screen. So hopefully this, this video turned out okay. All right, thanks everyone.